plunger tip forms a seal and spins along with the syringe glass while the metal plunger itself remains stationary. Too much wear on the plunger tip can manifest itself as poor data. Best practice is to replace the plunger tip at least every 300 experiments or at the first sign of wear. For example, Teflon shavings on the plunger shaft above the tip. To perform this procedure on MicroCal ITC200 or Auto ITC200, you will need appropriate personal protective equipment, soft grip tweezers, fine tip tweezers, the tip pulling tool, the tip pusher tool, and of course spare plunger tips. To remove a syringe, you need to start with the door closed. Then you click the inspect pipette button in the system tab of the Auto ITC200 software. This brings the pipette arm around to the front where it's more easily accessible. Now we can open the door. Once the pipette is in position, the first step is to loosen and remove the securing nut, being mindful not to drop it in the cell. You may set this aside. Then we click the Remove Old Tip button in the ITC200 software's Instrument Controls tab. This prompts you to remove the old tip, but the action of the plunger aids in removal of the syringe glass. You can see that more of the syringe glass is exposed making it easier to remove the syringe with the soft grip tweezers. And you may set the syringe aside. To remove the plunger tip, we take the tip pulling tool, insert it up into the pipette until we meet some resistance. And its barbed design will slip over the plunger tip and then take the plunger tip with it when removed. And again, be mindful not to drop anything into the cell when performing this step. To install the new tip, we click the Install New Tip button in the ITC200 software. This moves the plunger into place. To install a plunger tip in the tip pusher tool, simply hold both the tip pusher and the plunger tip with their holes facing up. Carefully insert a plunger tip into the end of the tip pusher tool. Once you have the new plunger tip installed in the installation tool, simply slip the tip pushing tool up into the pipette body until you meet some resistance. Give it one final small push to engage the barb design of the plunger tip and remove the tool. The last step before reinstalling the syringe is to click the new tip install button in the ITC200 software. 